up, doll collectors, hobbyists, fabs, and besties. I'm Toya, an adult doll collector. Welcome to my miniverse. I know the room is looking a little bare, but I had to make space because back in October, I told y'all I have a little bit of a backlog. I picked up the Monster High Student Lounge set for $19.99. I got the receipts. Cute box art. There's a vending machine. It's shaped like a coffin. It has a lot of colors. Blue, pink, turquoise, green, and purple. There's a faux coin slot in the front. The drawer at the bottom can come out. This door can open. We're getting more Monster High food, which I love. I think it's so cool that all the dolls come with snacks. We got brain puffs, some kind of sour gummy bear, candy hearts, drinks, and a soda. Or an energy drink. It's coffinated. Ha! <laughs> love it. Looks like we can just place the items inside. Sorry, giant human hands. Ah, we don't get enough snacks to fill the whole thing. Well, if you collect Monster High, you'll end up with a bunch of snacks, so I guess it's no big deal. Oh, and Twyla's bunny comes with a drink. What's his name? Dustin, I think. It's a can of Monster Dew, and we can add it to the vending machine. Let's close the door. When we turn one of the skullets on the side, the food should fall down. <laughs> then we just go to the bottom, and how cool is that? There's a couch. It does look like it is finished all the way around. Yeah. And there's little skullet buttons. There's a Monster High pillow. It is made out of plastic and we can put the bunny on the other side. There's a basketball or casket ball game. Some assembly is required. We just have to attach the bright green legs. The back has a faux brick wall. There's a spider web detail on the side, and there's a picture of the Monster High minis. There are three orange basketballs with finger brackets so the dolls can hold them. Of course, I need to try to make a basket. That was terrible. Even worse. There's a foam finger and a flag. We get a lamp. It looks like a tree with a lampshade, and then there's a small table on the side. There's a little space at the top so we can take a button light and place it in the top so we can make the lamp glow. We have what looks like a brain beanbag chair for a little extra seating. There's a pink bowl of snacks and a little spider to carry them. There are paper accessories like a game, playing cards with the characters in their older art style, a magazine that is blank on the inside, and what I think is a plastic dice. If it has a special name, let me know in the comments down below. I like the vending machine, but the seating area is probably my fave. And we can mix in items from other playsets. This is the Draculaura Bite in the Park playset. I got it for about $34 on Amazon. I love that the bench is black. There's a carved web detail on the seat and even some skeleton hands on the back. There's a matching table where we can attach an umbrella. It looks a little short for a doll to fit under it, but we won't know for sure unless we test it out. Here's the included doll. We get Draculaura with pink and black hair styled in a center part. It has a little wave to it and stops a little past the waist. She has a pink lip color, pink earrings that are removable, wears a pink and black bat dress with black ribbon details and printed lacing on the top. And she wears black shoes. This Draculaura can move at the head, the shoulder, the elbow, the wrist, does not have chest articulation, can move at the hip, and bend at the knee. When sitting on the bench, her legs do not go under the table and her head cannot go under the umbrella. On the back of the box, they do show the table next to the bench. And I guess the table is just an umbrella holder for when Draculaura needs to put it down. The umbrella has a little hand bracket so the doll can hold it. And I guess when it's on the table, it can give a little shade to our snacks. 
if that's a thing. There are two cups of coffee or tea in two shades of pink. There is a small plate of cookies with printed details. The printing is off a little. Looks like we have a carton of strawberry milk, a bottle of cherry juice, and a pretzel with eyes. We also get two pets, a pet bowl with a bone, two cans of pet food, a pink frisbee with a web, a ball of yarn, there are sunglasses for the pets, a pair for Draculaura, a small bottle of sunblock, and a cell phone, where we can see a little coffin on the back. I like that the furniture pieces are black and that we're getting more Monster High food. But a Draculaura without chest articulation won't make the shelf. So we'll just be stealing her clothes. I'm looking at the Monster High furniture I have so far. And if I was trying to put a room together with these pieces by mixing different play sets, there's a lot of different colors. Personally, I would have loved if all the pieces were easy to mix and match. Well, I mean, you still can if you're going for an eclectic vibe, but I would have loved for these to be black instead of purple. Maybe I'm overthinking this. Let's just embrace the color and give our room a little Monster High makeover. Let's remove the desk and add the vending machine, bring in Claudine's bedspread or rug to pull together all the colors, add the coffee table from the coffin bean playset. Let's add the lamp, and the little side table from the park playset. Then maybe add the coffin bean counter behind it. Ah, uh, the awning is just not working for me. It is attached with little pegs underneath. You probably can't see it. So it's possible to remove it maybe without damaging it. Actually, it is not easy to do and you will most likely damage it. I mean, you might be better than I am, but I totally damaged mine. But now we can use it as like an island and place two chairs from the coffin bean in front of it for some additional seating. Okay, I can live with this. It's very monster high. Let's add a little throw pillow, a few books from Claudine's bedroom playset, a little skullet, add a few baked goods to the island. Let's add a book on the coffee table and a cup of something and Draculaura's plate of cookies. Not too bad. I think this could totally work as a Monster High student lounge. Perfect for Draculaura and friends. But Toya, I thought you were a Cleo only collector. Cleo is my main goal, but this Draculaura is so cute. She has a fresh new look and new box art, which is fabulous. I paid $24.99 for this doll. Wait, let's check articulation. All right, movement at the head, shoulder, um, elbow. Yes, movement at the wrist. Does she have chest articulation? Yep, movement at the hip and at the knee. I love the makeup, the dark lip color. She comes wearing a hat. It has spider web details. Draculaura's hair is pink on one side and black on the other. She has bangs and her hair is styled into two long pigtails. She wears coffin shaped earrings with hearts. They are removable. She has a plastic collar. She wears a top with pink faux leather and black sheer sleeves. It's one piece and Velcro's in the back. She wears a matching pink skirt with a printed web at the top and tulle on the bottom. She wears black stockings and pink shoes with black painted details and a white painted heart and a faux zipper. We get a pink bag with a black bat hanging off the zipper and it can open. Here's a little bat and it has a handle. It can open <gasps> and there's food inside. It's her lunch. She has pink sunglasses, a purple bottle of sunblock, a black tube of lip gloss, a drink. It has a little bat cozy and it is removable. And she has a book. It says Monster Magic. The front has a printed cover. Love that. It can open and then there's pictures on the inside. I would love to see this level of detail in other lines like Barbie. Let's add this book to the coffee table and we get another Count Fabulous with a tail. I do like how they give us the same pet, but in different poses. You know what? 
I think this room could use a little greenery. Which is my segue into Venus McFly Trap. Priced at $24.99, this beauty is giving us gorgeous box art, gorgeous hair, and a gorgeous face. She has pink and green twists that have a little wave to them. Kind of feels like Ariel's hair from The Little Mermaid. She has sculpted cornrows on one side. I love that they left the scalp green. Her ears look like leaves. She wears silver earrings that are removable, has brown eyes with colorful eyeshadow, a pink lip color, green eyebrows, wears a Venus flytrap hair clip that is removable. She wears a silver colored necklace, a belt with green painted details. She wears a mesh long sleeve top under another short sleeve shirt. They are two separate pieces and Velcro in the back. She wears faux denim shorts with working pockets. She wears a black mesh leg warmer on one leg and then a black one on the other that has little cuts in it. She has pink and gray boots with teeth and little vines curling around them. Her body type looks similar to Cleo's. Her shorts fit Cleo perfectly. She can move at the head, shoulder, elbow, wrist. Her hands are claws. She can move at the chest, the hip, and the knee. She comes with a pet in a pot. It can be removed. A cell phone that has a Venus flytrap on the back. She has pink glasses that hook around the ear. This looks like a water bottle with a watering can top. There's a basket, a spray bottle that says hydrate, some monster high food, and a place to keep her boot knee notes in. Check that out. It all fits in her bag. And she's not pixelated. I totally need this doll as a normie, as well as a normie for Draculaura and Abby. And Cleo is fine. She can stay as is. Well, Minus the tinsel. Maybe Draculaura could have a Spider-Man Doctor Strange moment where she messes up a spell and opens up an alternate dimension where they are all normies. Just throwing that out there. I think Venus is absolutely gorgeous. I love the details we're seeing with Monster High. And I'm not gonna complain anymore about all the colors we're seeing in the accessories because we can totally make it work with this vibe. However, I still think these should have been black and I would not object to more black furniture. Just throwing that out there with all these little details. Thank you for joining us while we took a look at a few things from Monster High. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at my froggy stuff, the frog vlog, and Bella of my froggy stuff. And we will see you next time. Bye.